exotic is in danger. Grab your clipboard, hit play, and save him. Just in Time Incorporated for the PlayStation VR is exactly the kind of VR experience that I love to look for in games. Already one of my favorites to play, just to have fun with. Now, <laughs> I, I apologize about that. There is no one way to win any level. Now, you play the role of um, somebody who is there to protect someone's life or save their life, and you have to save their life any means necessary. Now, in the last one, you saw me just take his knife and stab him. This one, I find a bottle. Come on, come on, come on. A little bit closer. There we go. Knife's still floating around. May as well make use out of it. And that's what you do in this game. You just use your creativity, uh, kind of like a job simulator, but it has that super hot feel to it. And the you know, characters look kind of Minecrafty, and I'm OK with that. I'm 100 percent OK with that. Each level is a different style of how to save someone like, hey, burning building. Uh, people are going to start jumping out of buildings. You got these inflatable, uh, you know, uh, safety hard things, <laughs> mattresses or something, inflatable mattresses. So you got to, like, you know, position them around there. So, you know, when they land on the trampoline or something, you know, they're going to start flying, so you want to make sure that they're going <laughs> to be protected when they fa fall back down. Um, there is no smooth rotation, so you see me kind of like, you know, moving 45 degrees at a time. Um, and I'm kind of used to that by now with PlayStation VR games. You can also, I mean, just maneuver left or right uh, as you as you will anyway. It's just fun to go through. Uh, there is a tutorial, then there's one here. You have to, you know, save the scientists from the lab rats that have escaped. If you too many of them get to them, they're going to bite them, and you have to do the level all over again. You can keep replaying the levels until you find one, uh, a way that works for you, or, you know, move on and just have fun with this one. It's just so fun. It's just so creative, the levels that they have here. You can literally just chop them like that. <laughs> that was the that was one easy way to get through this level anyway. But you have all the other things at your disposal just to, you know, fool around with it and have fun. Still, my favorite levels are the ones that involve guns because you can grab the bullets and uh, reflect them back to someone else. Like there's a bullet. I'll grab it. I can do that. Do that. Uh, this one, I have to get my guys in blue across the bridge, but there's people preventing them. So I'll grab this here. Grab that there. Thank you. Even missiles and rockets. Sure. Hey, drop something. There you go. <laughs> Just in time incorporated. I love this game. Uh, I would call it a must have if you have a PSVR. It's digital only, well worth the price. Uh, after you beat the first few levels, you'll even get a chance to check out uh, some of the dev levels, including here's Ryan and Justin. These are the uh, guys behind the game. But you, they have like the prototypes, like the like, hey, when we started making the game, here's how it is. Or, hey, murderous grandpa is heading towards grandma. But there's some great writing in this game, too. Mr. Sanderson is convinced he has the power to stop bullets. Luckily for him, you do. Yeah, there's going to be a couple of parody type levels or it's like, I know what you're getting at. I know what you mean. Thank you for checking this out. And I encourage you to check it out, too. In fact, if you want to win your own copy, check out a link in the description below. I have your chance to win a copy. There's an enter to win. they will be up there for about a week. And thank you. Seriously. Great, great game. Ah, I almost won that one, too. All right. Next time for sure.